In this video we are going to learn how you can parse a CSV file in your Angular application. For that we are going to use a library called ngx csv parser. This is an npm library. You can install it using npm i ngx hyphen csv hyphen parser or npm install and ngx csv parser. To begin with the tutorial what we are going to do is we are going to create first of all a fresh new angular application gnu csv parser demo this will now create an empty project for me or a project from scratch in angular 9 for me so it's asking me if i need routing or not right now i don't need routing so i would continue with that and i would use css for styles okay so our installation over here is done and now let's clear the console and now we'll move into our project and then first of all let's test that application is working ng serve hyphen hyphen o this will start your project and open up the browser the project is compiling and it runs successfully now we first of all what we'll do is we'll get rid of this initial ui that they are providing from scratch and before we do that let's add this project in our visual studio code editor let me do that first so i'm adding my project in visual studio code editor and now i can see my entire application over here this is the initial ui which i'm able to see okay so now first of all what we'll do is we'll install that dependency for passing our csv file so let's copy the dependency from here it's copied and now let's run this command over here in the terminal first of all let's stop our application using control and c and then clear the console and let's now install the dependency and pm let's be exclusive iPhone iPhone save this will save the dependency in our package.json file okay so our dependency is now installed let's clear the console and run the application back again okay so our application is once again running let's refresh it to check if it's running yeah it's running so to begin with this tutorial it's very easy everything that you need and how to use this dependency is shown over here in a very beautiful example but even if you don't understand how to use it you can go to their home page going on their home page will, will lead you to a application example you can simply clone this and test it on your system or otherwise i will make you understanding i will show you how you can run this application on your system and use this library to pass the csv file so if you check that you have already downloaded and installed the dependency you can check that in package.json and here you can find out the dependency so we are going to first of all get rid of this app.component.html content so now our application is empty now next thing what we are going to do is we are going to use their app.component.html content which i will be explaining you step by step all right i will be explaining you guys what is happening over here first of all this is just an heading so if you check there this is just a heading all right this heading has nothing to do with what we are doing but it's just a placeholder after that you see a div over here which says that this is a csv file chooser section here what we have is an input so this input is of type file means that this would be selecting a file and here is a reference given for a view child element which we'll be using in our component.ts file and this is the name of the input and this is the id and this is the change handler for this input so whenever the file is selected this function will be fired and this function we will be writing in our app.component.ts file and files accepted by this input is of type csv right now and this is a label which says that do you want to parse header or not so this has two configuration header two or false so what header specifies is that header makes the csv parsing pretty much helpful for you if you want that the first line of your csv file 
becomes a json formatted csv file after you parse it so header will become the key field of the json and all the next coming rows will become the value field of the json so this will happen if the header is set to true and if you set the header to false then this will be simply an array of all the rows in the form of array so you will be using it using the index all right you mean like an array of array means a matrix you will be handling it something like zero of zero something like that but if you parse it using header configuration true you can handle it using the json format which we mostly use in our web applications so first thing first we have already done that next thing what we are going to do is we are going to use this code in our application dot component file and i will be telling you guys how you can use it efficiently so this is our app dot component dot ts file and here we are going to use the code let's get rid of this title now how we can get this dependency of ngx csv parser we have already downloaded the dependency and let's first add the dependency in our app dot module import from ngx csv parser ngx csv parser module we'll be importing it into our imports array all right let's save and close it now we are over here we can now find this csv parser over here in our app component file let's import it you can directly import it from ngx csv parser as well now let's import our view child view child can be imported from at the right angular core after that let's import our ngx csv parser error this will also get imported from this ngx csv parser dependency we have so we have almost all the dependencies that we would need and now let's see what we are going to do in order to parse this csv file so this is the view child with the exact name that we have in our app.component.html this will be reacting when the file is getting selected and this is the function which would be called file change listener so we have this function over here all right this would be returning nothing so we have mentioned the return type as white and it would be firing an event and we can access the files on the event element and src element and a list of files over here and once we have the list of files we would be calling our ngx csv parser service and then calling the parse method of it and passing on the file which we want to parse you can call this multiple times in a loop and pass all the csv files we are just passing a single file right now so we are selecting the first file over here the header configuration i have mentioned dynamically so by default it's false and the delimiter delimiter is the one which says that how to parse the file for example in the csv files we have comma separated strings so if if we talk about this this csv file the comma is the delimiter over here all right so this is the delimiter means this would be the portion of separation in this file and this is the configuration for header and we would be passing it to a pipe and subscribing to the results and the results will be of the form of an array all right and this array we are going to store as a result in the csv records array so what we are going to do later on is that we would be looping over this csv records in our html like this we have created a div with a table and table head has a static number field with the hash and first name last name email phone number title and occupation so this is a csv file let me show you which csv file we are referring to this is an example csv file i will tell you guys how you can find it this is available in the github repo that we are seeing over here when you go to this library there is an example folder here this is the csv file which we are using all right so you guys can go over there and look over this csv file let's copy the css also so this is simply the table body and we are having a table row over here and we are looping over the csv records and this is the csv data and since we would be parsing it using the json we can handle the json formatted data over here like this so let's try out what we have done so far i'm choosing the file from my desktop and let's see what happens so right now nothing comes up 
because we have the parsing header option in a different way okay before we continue with that there is one thing which we are missing we have an error that ng model is not recognized for this what we have to do is we have to go to our app.module.ts file and then import the forms module over here forms module comes from at the right angular core oh sorry at the right angular forms let's import this and then add it over here all right let's close this now and get back to our application choose a file let's select a csv file and select the headers as yes and let's refresh this we would need to pass it into json format so that's the reason why we are selecting yes so this is the way in which the csv got passed and let me show you what's the format of csv you can go to example and check out the csv file so this is the exact csv file which is getting passed let's check out the console and we can see how the csv file got passed so this is the json which is getting generated in the end so this is the header of the file as you can see over here first name last name email phone number title and occupation so this is the finest way in which you can pass a csv file let me show you the other way around too in which you can pass the csv file in the form of an array so you have to select header value as false or i am selecting it no from here and then you select the csv file the csv file gets passed and the format of csv file is this it's an array of array of the fields all right so you can pass it on your own and then use it in whatever way you want what i am using over here to show you in this table is using the json format and it passes the file exactly as i need okay so i think that's fine for now and you guys can keep on following my page and do visit my website if you need any development or designing related help i would be happy to help you you can go and walk out to my youtube channel and see all other details as well follow me on linkedin subscribe to my channel and keep following me see you in the next video